thanks for having us here. It's a pleasure to be together this morning with you in Tel Aviv. We will tell you a story, the story of the smartest banking boat in Italy. It's a really uh, special and unique story. This boat uh, is helping the integration of four different banks. Bank employees are loving using this boat. And uh, there are many lessons learned along the way that we will share with you. I'm Alessandro Vitale. I'm uh, the founder of two artificial intelligence startups. Last one is called Conversate. We built, we built a proprietary AI for uh, chatbots. And I'm also a member of the task force on artificial intelligence of the Italian government. Good morning, my name is Matteo Baido. I'm the head of IT innovation for Ubibanca. Ubibanca is a retail Italian bank. We are the third bank in Italy with 20,000 employees and 2,000 branches all over Italy. Okay, 2017 has been a very busy year for Ubibanca. We completed the acquisition of three banks. And during the year, the whole organization have been working on the project of integration and of uh, information system migration of the three banks. At the beginning of the same time, my team and I were starting working on artificial intelligence. We were meeting suppliers, vendors to understand the technology, to understand the use cases and the solutions. At the end, we came up with the idea of uh, mixing the two things together and having our first use case of developing a chatbot to help the employees of the bank we were acquiring during the, implement, the integration process. So we came up with the idea of developing MARIO, which is the acronym for Migration Artificial Intelligence Operator. So the project at the beginning was very quick. We, we had a, a deadline in mid-September, so we only had two months to develop, design, implement, and integrate the bot. Uh, we, we have a big software selection. We, we met like 20 vendors. At, at the end, we decided to work with a startup, with Conversate, and this was a, a great success because in the, that small amount of time, uh, we were able to, to complete the task thanks to the availability and flexibility of uh, the team of, uh, of Conversate and, of course, of, on the team of the bank. Um, and this, I believe, is a very good uh, example of integration of partnership between a big bank and a, and a small startup. So the project was... Uh, at the 4th of September, we went live, and this was 15% of the, of the project. The other, the other 50% was running the bot. The, the run of the bot was uh, almost four months, and in these four months, the, we, were, we, we set up a, a team for um, following the bot and actually overlooking at the behavior of the bot. Uh, the, bit, the, the team was not, not, not very big. We were just three people and not every day, like, I mean, looking every day at the results. We were looking at the, what the users were, were asking the bot and what the bot was replying. And so we were um, increasing, the, the, making many improvements on the uh, intelligence of the bot and of the scope as well. Um, actually, we were able from the first day to the last day of the bot to increase 300% of the answers and 500% of the topics understood by the bot. And actually, at the beginning, the bot was already good. But at the end, it was really, really uh, working very, very with exceptional results. The update was uh, continuous. We were like updating the, the, the base of the bot, the, the knowledge base, like three or four times per day. Communication was key for the project because we needed to have a lot of users. And so we decided to go for direct mailing. So we sent an email to all the, the, the employees of the new banks. The first mail was when the bot was available, so it was 40, 50 days before the actual migration. And the mail was a nice graphic, uh, and we also put a little video of 90 seconds so that uh, people can understand how to interact with the bot and uh, what was, uh, the bot was about. And actually, we tried to be very specific on what was the scope of the bot and how to interact with it, because this is a, a very big point. And we sent another a second mail, like 10 days before the migration. So actually in the period when the, the assistant was uh, needed the, the most. And the second mail was a kind of recall that the Ma Mario was there to help people. And uh, uh, we were actually telling people that the, the, the bot was, has been growing his knowledge base. So that if somebody tried the bot 
At the beginning, I mean, he was sure that after a one month period, the boat was actually getting, getting much better. So the result was that uh, we had a very great engagement. So we, we had uh, 4,000 employees in the three acquired banks, and we were able to uh, get 70% of the, of the employees to uh, visit the boat. That means that they, they clicked on the button, they actually received the greeting from the boat, which was saying what, was, uh, the, the, boat, what the boat was about. And actually 40% of the, 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 the users used the bot, so they were making conversation with it. And this is a very high rate considering that the bot was there to assist people. So if you didn't need any assistance, basically you, you didn't have to, to, to speak to the bot. Here we have two examples, just very simple examples of, of the chat. The first one is an example of disambiguation, which is a part of the intelligence of the bot. The second is, uh, is just, I mean, is just uh, about the fact that we were actually asking the staff of the branches to come for two Sunday morning, and a Sunday in Italy is a, is a, is a holiday, uh, to, to make the checks. So all the people, after completing the checks, were calling the help desk, were mad because they wanted to go home because they finished the work, but they had to, to wait for a message. So everybody at the end was writing Mario, and, I mean, and Mario was... Uh, was writing back. This was one of the most uh, uh, important topic of the assistance. Now, about the technology. Uh, users could interact uh, with Mario through two channels, the internal Skype for Business, so they found him in the contact list like any other colleague, or through a web chat. And uh, once they wrote something to Mario, first there was uh, natural language understanding, so machine learning algorithms to understand the user and then a custom dialogue manager to have uh, intelligent conversations. Also, uh, an admin interface so that uh, business people from the bank could monitor the conversation and update in real time its contents and some of its behavior. And very important, there were regression tests. So for this project, uh, at the end, there were more than a thousand regression tests. It means that every time you did a new training of the algorithms or you change something, there were more than a thousand user inputs that were tested automatically so that uh, you were assured that the behavior of the bot kept being consistent and worked as before as you were growing it. When we say it's smart, for smart our smart bot, bot for us is a, smart, is a bot that never says, I didn't understand. How do we achieve this? Artificial intelligence. There are many problems, and here are some of them with the solution we found. First thing is that the same question can be written in many different ways. So we use uh, machine learning algorithms for that. Then uh, people can uh, misspell things, uh, do typos or uh, write things uh, and call them with uh, different names. So we found a way to implement autocorrect, which uh, if any of you tried, it's very tricky inside chatbots, and also manage all the aliases. Then sometimes questions can be very or too much complicated. Sometimes users don't chat with bot, but write very long, long paragraphs like email style, and uh, technology today cannot understand them. So what we did, we used the partial understanding, maybe just what question was asked, what topics were talked about, and engage in a conversation the bot, telling him, I understand just this from uh, what you told me, please, you know, about this topic, I can tell you these other things, and please write it uh, in a different way. So users were guided towards the answer through a conversation. And also, for example, out of scope, people started asking many things that were out of uh, both scope, so we decided to manage it uh, in an explicit way. So uh, if they were asking things that were out of scope, the bot told them, look, this topic is out of scope. And that was uh, already good for them so that the users didn't try to write things in a different way when the, the bot didn't have any answer. Okay, we, we, we have many lessons learned to share with you. Okay, the first is that the bank employees uh, loved Mario. At the end, Mario became a kind of a character in the bank, so everybody was talking about him. But apart from this, actually, people were keen on using it. We have a very high rate of, uh, of usage. So this is very good for the next project where we are thinking of growing his knowledge base to other, to other fields. This is very important, I told you before, uh, very important to make the users 
aware of what the scope is and how to interact with the boat. Actually, what we have seen is that uh, no matter what, if the question was in scope and was written in a chat style, I mean like one sentence, the boat was always, always answering, or at least asking another question to drive the, the user to the, the correct answer. Uh, the intelligent boat is key for a good user experience. That means that uh, engaging, keep up the conversation, always asking questions. The boat never said, I don't understand. So the, the, the key was to, to keep up the conversation, to drive the users to the right question and to the right answers. Uh, this is important. I mean, at the end, the quality of the boat really impressed me. At the, since the beginning, Alessandro was, uh, was confident about the results. I was confident, but not so much. I was really wanted to see with my eyes. And at the end, really, the quality was, uh, was really over our expectation. The conversation was really, really good, and the, the understanding was a very high level. Uh, this is okay, something that I think happens to everybody. When you increase the knowledge base, uh, and actually we increased a lot in three months, so we, we, we had 300% answer, more answer in three months, what happens is that sometimes the bot gives the, the wrong answer. I mean, it's, it's quite surprising for a, like a business, uh, a, a business uh, for the, for the, from the business side. The bot is, good, is giving the, the right answer for two months to the same question, and one day you make an update, and from that, that date it gives a, an, a wrong answer. And this is very, very scary and dangerous. So here we came in with the regression test, running like 1,000 tests to check that he was giving the right answers to the, the right question every time. And at the end, you need a team. Uh, don't imagine of uh, 10 people or 10 data scientists. We were like three people overlooking the boat, mainly with an effort of one full-time equivalent or half-time equivalent, but you need to look at what, what the boat is doing every day, at least in our brief four months use case. Maybe after one or two years you can leave it alone, but at the beginning the boat is a very, very strong tool and you, you cannot leave it alone. And okay, the, the last lesson learned, as I told you before, is that 50% of a project in a boat is when you go live, and the next 50% is just to improve it and fine-tune it. Now, looking at the future, uh, what we are doing is uh, we are sharing the experience. We had uh, an exclusive article on the most important Italian newspaper, and uh, we already had a meeting uh, with the Italian Banking Association in which the project was uh, described and discussed with all the other Italian banks. And uh, UbiBanca is uh, extending the boat uh, for day-to-day uh, -day customer support. And as a uh, conversation, we are building a new platform to make it even easier to scale the boat and manage it uh, once it's production. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank you. So this is a surprise now, right? Mario came with us, and uh, he asked us to take a selfie with you. Cheese, smile. What about the lights? We need the lights. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's see the people. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Grazie.